energy forecast for Monday, July 15th. Okay, so welcome to Moon Day, Monday, if you will. We do have the moon in Scorpio here all day, so there is going to be an intensity, a pressure for us to really figure out the change, the transformation that not only needs to take place within us, but within our physical realms as well. We're doing a deep dive, we're doing some shadow work, we're doing some detective work to unearth a lot of the seeds in our egoic programming that are definitely holding us back and limiting us from actually moving on and moving forward. Now, of course, we're still very much in cancer season, a water season, Scorpio energy, a water sign. So you may feel a little bit heavy, a little bit weighted in your physical form, like you're 500 pounds trying to run underwater. That is absolutely normal. You may feel extra sleepy here today, very much hard going, trying to getting things to actually move in a particular direction. And emotionally speaking, you're probably feeling a little bit confused, heavy and weighted as well. Now, if you haven't listened to the Ascension forecast that I've already put out here for this week, I'm gonna recommend you do so. In that, I go on a little bit of a mini rant about Mars and Uranus. And I don't know about y'all, but we're definitely seeing that particular aggression, that particular pop off on the global stage as predicted. The reason being, we have seven different aspects taking place here today, four of them involving the moon, and the other aspects that aren't involving the moon are pretty pressurized, pretty serious. Mars conjuncting Uranus being one of them. So we are going to expect for things to be a little bit challenging here today. Um, usually when the moon is in Scorpio, we are challenged because again, there's a major death ending closure cycle taking place in order for a rebirth renewal cycle to actually begin and that is no fun and is definitely no joke so to kick the day off we actually have mercury ruler of the mental plane ruler of information communication how it is that we express ourselves in leo energy making a very tough interaction with saturn the lord of karma rules over roles responsibility systems structures foundations willpower and discipline saturn is retrograde in pisces energy so this is going to bring up a lot of mental blocks a lot of challenges we are going to have a hard time understanding what's going on in the world within ourselves we're going to have a hard time kind of communicating our inner realm to the outer realm there's going to be a certain wall that we're going to be banging our head against trying to make sense of certain situations certain circumstances trying to bring a deeper meaning deeper purpose to a lot of confusion that is definitely going on within us within our own individual lives and now on the greater grander stage as well the moon in scorpio energy going to make a very tough interaction with the north node in aries energy which means that we aren't really seeing the opportunity to be optimistic to be positive about the future right now we're kind of stuck in the present moment the present moment is kind of ugly it's kind of tough it's kind of challenging we're not seeing the opportunity for growth to evolve to make a change to make a transformation because we're kind of hooked up really processing from a different perspective a different set of eyes a lot of the chaotic situations and circumstances that have been popping off especially since we entered into cancer season we popped off the solstice and of course ushered in new karmic chapters the sun in cancer energy going to get into the boxing ring square off with chiron the wounded healer in aries energy so of course a square creates tension and conflict because we're going through some growing pains those growing pains are definitely going to be illumined here today with some fear some doubt some insecurities especially with how it is that we're feeling about ourselves we're questioning our ability to make the change, to make that transformation. We're questioning whether or not we even want to, you know, kind of boss up and make the changes and transformations that we know we need to make. Because we're still in cancer season, although we are nearing the end of it, we're very focused on what it is that we have to build, what it is that we have to create in order to provide ourselves with safety, security, and stability in our inner realm of emotions and in our physical realm, where relationships are concerned, where our foundation, our structures are concerned. And so Chiron being aspected in a not so nice kind of way, definitely bringing up all the fears, all the doubts, all the vulnerabilities, all of the insecurities. 
We have the moon in Scorpio energy making a very tough interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Jupiter is in Gemini energy, pushing the boundaries of our thoughts, of our ideas, of our perspective, of our understanding, and illuminating a couple of different options and opportunities to actually grow, to evolve, to move on that, of course, we're on the fence about. Because this is a negative interaction, we're not feeling confident, we're not feeling optimistic at all. Instead, we're really wrecking our brains, looking back, trying to figure out how things happened, how we played a part in certain circumstances and situations, and where it is that we can pluck out the silver linings from some of the tough love life lessons in order to actually empower us. We're not feeling in power or in control at the present moment. So doing a deep dive, really dissecting a lot of the tough love life lessons that have been thrown our way, plucking out those silver linings, definitely going to help us reframe and reshape how it is that we are looking at ourselves, at our current situations, and at the opportunities that we currently have to move on and move forward. 10.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. In this Taurus energy, coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with Uranus, the great awakener, the liberator, the, let's call it, observer, if you will, fighting for liberation, for freedom. Now, this is the particular aspect that I did talk about in the Ascension forecast for this week. This is no joke. We've already seen the ripple effect of some of these oh, hesitant to even say it, quote unquote, events, I'll leave it there, that have taken place, especially under the influence of that first quarter moon that popped off on Saturday in that Libra energy. We are watching the aftermath. We're watching, collectively speaking, humanity's attempt to either pivot and go all the way into anger and frustration and division or pivot and kind of carry us into unity into love into let's call it a healing phase now things aren't looking so good out there as of this particular moment we don't want to make a judgment call as of yet we still are lacking some information some details that is going to help shape and again reframe certain situations and circumstances certain karmic chapters that we are going to be very deep in from now until the fall we are seeing this particular energy in our individual lives but Essentially, this is a collective energy. Again, this is the third particular aspect of these guys popping off. And it is kind of sending a little bit of a ripple effect out in the collective on where it is that we have to boss up, make some major changes, really kind of create a different realm, different reality for ourselves, especially if we're on the path to unification, healing and love. The moon is then going to make a very awkward interaction with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. This is some water on water action. This could really reveal to us where it is that we need to kind of reset, where we re need to remind ourselves what it is that we're actually fighting for, what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to pursue, what it is that we want to create. This is a spiritual indicator that we are, again, aligning with our higher selves, downloading certain images and insights that really is going to fuel this next particular chapter for us to move on, to really pursue our dreams, to manifest our visions, and to get right in our soul space. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Scorpio making a positive interaction with the North Node. So we had a not so nice one earlier on in the day. This one is a better one. So we're starting to see where it is that we can kind of pivot out of the funk, out of the darkness, where we are gaining a little bit of insight, especially with where it is that we want to go, where we want to grow from here. That North Node is trying to get us on the right path to our next soul mission. It requires us to know who it is that we are, tap into our unique individualism, and really get to know thyself. That is where the power is. That is where the new level of self is. That is where we are essentially pivoting and aligning at this particular point in order for us to make the change, the transformation within ourselves to our soul, our spirit, first and foremost, before we're actually going to see those major changes manifest here in the physical realm.